Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel, Proud Maine. It's your girl Ava, your loyal curl friend. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I prep my hair to install these ombre box braids, it's giving me life right now. I'm feeling myself, as you can see. Yes, Miss Mamas, you better get it. You better get it. <laughs> I'm always feeling myself when my braids are in. New me, who this? Um, so yeah, stick around if you want to see how I prep my hair to install these box box braids, and then I'll have a mini tutorial at the end just for you. Stay tuned. Okay, curl friends, we're gonna start off with clean hair. I wash my hair with my Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Shampoo, and I go in with my Aussie Conditioner. Then I like to do a deep condition with my Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Mask. I love this stuff. If you saw my wash and go tutorial, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Those are my staples, and it's been my staples for a while now. So yeah, I always make sure that I do a deep condition or a leave-in treatment prior to installing braids. So so this is my hair after I've washed it. I'm just detangling a little bit and squeezing out some of that excess water because my hair was dripping wet. Um, I usually do use a microfiber towel, but um, these towel was already dirty, so I thought I'd just use it. Yeah, dirty towel on clean hair. I know, I heard it. Um, but yeah, so then I'm gonna go in with my heat protectant spray, my Tresemme, which I also showed you in a previous video as well. This is my staple um, heat protectant that I like to use because I will be using heat on my hair to blow dry my hair hair. Um, so right now I'm just sectioning off my hair and then I'm going in with my Revlon One Step um, blow dryer. I love this blow dryer. Okay, if you haven't gotten it, go out and get it. Amazon is always having a sale on it or at Walmart. Um, for my Canadian babes, it's always on sale girl. Go get you one and they have this really cute mint color, too I'm just saying but anyways, so yeah, I'm just giving my hair a blowout um, I don't want this bone straight because my hair is already of a silkier texture So it's gonna be kind of slippery to um, Attach the braids to so I don't want it bone straight. That's not the style that I'm looking for Although with this tool I actually can get it bone straight um, if you want to see a tutorial on that I can do it um, but yeah so this is my hair all blown out and then I'm gonna go in with my jojoba oil and this oil is one of my favorites it's so lightweight and as you can see I'm concentrating primarily on the ends of my hair um, because they tend to get really dry and then whatever is remaining on my hands I just um, distribute it throughout the rest of my hair but yeah, this is what it's looking like, a little bit shinier. So we're gonna move on with my Shine and Jam and my Rat Tail Comb. And then this is the hair that I'm using. It's by Outre, um, Braid Babe to be exact <laughs> is what it's called. And I'm just showing you the length of the hair and the ombre effect. I think it's like a three-tone caramel ombre. This is like perfect for the summer, like, I'm telling you this when the light the sunlight hits this baby okay get all the way into it and I think this is actually 54 inches so not bad um, here's a little close-up you can see it's hot water setting flame retardant it's lightweight and bleed free color so that's really cool and it's also pre stretch so I've actually never used a pre-stretch hair before. This is my first time. I know I'm always late to the party, but it is what it is. So we're gonna try this out. I usually just use the plain expressions hair, but it is what it is. We're gonna do something new today. Um, so as you can see, I've prepped my hair. My hair is clean, and now I'm going to part my hair. Now, when I part my hair, I'm not a stickler for like neatness or precision. That's not me. If you're looking for that type of video, I'm gonna tell you now, close this browser, <laughs> log all the way off because I'm not the one, I'm not the one. So yeah, I'm just parting my hair, basically just to section it off so it's easier for me to work with. Again, I'm not being super perfect with the lines or anything like that. 
And then once I have my lines, I go in with a little bit of shine and jam to um, get rid of all the flyaways and things like that. So as you can see, I have my first section and I'm going to braid that and get it out the way and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Just trying to line up these parts, get my shine and jam um, and smooth everything out, get rid of all the flyaways. Um, I don't really use the shine and jam to like slick anything down so to speak. It's just more of controlling the frizz and the flyaways. Um, and then yeah, I just proceed to braiding my hair and keeping it out of the way. So the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Parting is like the hardest part for a lot of people and for me as well, but parting on camera? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. It was super difficult. So anyways, I take that straight line and bring it all the way to the back, one stroke, and I've got it. And then I'm going to part that in half as well. So I put the rat tail comb by my ear and I just slide it right across or glide it right across. And I have my two sections. So I'm just gonna clip that out the way, go in with my shine and jam again, and the rest is self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna stop talking here and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I know this section is really uneven, but I ended up using another mirror to line it up with the other half, so I did fix that. Just want to get that out there. <laughs> So now I'm done sectioning off my hair. This is what it looks like. Again, it's not perfect, but it's perfect for me. Um, once I braid all my hair anyways, you're not even gonna see any mistakes or unevenness or anything like that. So that's what I like about it. So I'm just gonna start off by parting my first section and I intended on showing you guys how I braid the back, but I'm telling you every time I go in this washroom to record a video, everybody wants to pop up to use the washroom. So at this point I was just frustrated and I decided to just braid my hair off camera and then give you guys a mini tutorial on how I do the front. So just hang on, I'm just gonna um, fast forward to that part. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Um, my hair is pretty much done. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. We have one roll left. I'm so excited. This took me about, I would say, five and a half to six hours. And that's actually pretty fast. I'm a pretty fast braider. Um, but it took me longer because I was trying to film everything. Um, so yeah, this is how I do the front portion of my hair. I'm just basically parting as neatly as possible at the front because the front matters everybody's gonna see it and it's gonna frame and shape your face and all that stuff so you want to make sure you're doing the best parting that you can at the front because it's visible so this is the size of the hair um, the strands that I'm using and this is not the method that I use I don't do the double loop method I literally do the single loop method however the hair comes I just fold it in half and that's how I braid it but when I'm braiding other people's hair for some reason I do the other method 
weird. Okay, so I'm taking my real hair and then I am looping it between the braiding hair, if that makes sense. So you can see it right here. I'm not good at explaining this, by the way. And then you're just basically doing a basic braid. You're just exchanging the strands from one hand to the next. And if your hair is a little bit thinner or finer than the braiding hair, you would take uh, small strands from each side of the braiding hair just to even it out. It makes your braid uh, look a bit more uniform. So I did go ahead and do that as well, but I didn't need a lot because um, it was pretty even. But yeah, so I just braid my hair all the way to the very bottom and then about halfway through I slip the hair in my mouth just to relieve some tension and so then I'm not tugging on my hair too much and then I proceed to braiding the ends. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time in case you didn't get it or in case I didn't explain it proper properly most likely the latter but um, yeah so I'm just parting as neatly as I can and then I'm gonna go in with my shine and jam just to slick it down a little bit And then I'm getting my braiding hair, laying that flat on my head first, and then I'm going to loop my real hair through the braiding hair, and then start exchanging between my hands, exchanging the strands between my hands. And then you just do your normal braid, your normal plait. I know it looks like my hair is not really um, tight but it actually is it's just that my hair is a little bit um, silkier so the grip <laughs> the grip game is not as strong for me but um, it's on there and it's pretty secure So I went ahead and did the rest off camera and this is what it looks like. Finito, ya girl, is done. Well, almost, but you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna take it down and show you guys. As you can see, you can't notice that my parts were a little bit wonky in the beginning. You don't notice any of that unless you're wearing your hair in like a specific style, like you can get away with this too. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Not bad, not bad, not too shabby. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the next step, which I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with and that is the hot water stage to seal my ends so they don't um, unravel. So you wanna be super careful with your hot water, okay? Um, I did add a splash of apple cider vinegar. I usually rinse my braiding hair, um, but this time I didn't. I was just trying to get this over with as soon as possible and it would have taken me an extra day to prep the hair. Um, so yeah, I just splashed a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the braiding hair um, just so it wouldn't itch me or anything like that or irritate um, my skin. Um, so yeah, and if you want, you can add like a little bit of conditioner in the water as well um, to soften the hair even more. But these were pretty soft, um, so I didn't have to do that. But yeah, so that's what it looks like once um, I put the hot water on it. So I'm just going to show you that one more time. I'm dipping the hair in there and I go pretty far up. I don't just do like the tips or the ends. I go up a little bit further than that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I've probably wet my hair underneath, but 
that's okay it doesn't unravel or curl up or anything like that so we're good so that's what it looks like when both sides are done and yes girl so I'm just gonna do the last part which is my mousse just to set my hair and make sure there's no flyaways or frizzies and that's pretty much it guys that's the end of my video if you guys enjoyed this please give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit me up let me know if you like these ombre braids like it's summertime we out here we outside Okay, I'm feeling myself. I'll see y'all in another one. Yes! <laughs>